Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right. Yes, we've already ranked her up, but we haven't tried her out. We haven't tested her out and we haven't talked about her. So this is one of my new rank fives. We will be talking about all of them in the next couple of days. Uh, in video form, of course, how many rank fives do we have right now? We have 13, and Kitty Pride is the number one ranked uh, of these with the highest PI. She is a SIG 200. Let's take a look at her, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do a Winter Soldier Index fight. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, so uh, what are her abilities? So she's immune to incinerates. Thanks to having a dragon on her shoulder. Not sure how that exactly works, but it is there. So that has come in handy more often than I can count uh, due to the incinerate immune. And, and a lot of things like backblast nodes um, and other nodes that cause incinerate damage. Or she's great against human torch because human torch can't do anything because she's immune to incinerates. Okay, so and then she's got this passive pro -S uh, marker that she uses so she gains one each time either champ lands a crit hit and plus two against guaranteed crit hits or passive stuns gain two when she intercepts a dashing opponent each pro s increases special attack damage by five percent so that doesn't seem like a lot but once you get 10 of these that's 50 percent more um, and it lasts until the end of the next special attack that strikes the opponent or the block if she's inflicted with a cowardice, all prowesses are gone. So that can happen. While the opponent is suffering from an incinerate, prowess potency begins to increase up to 400%. There's a little ticker that you'll see uh, with her uh, kind of her, her temperature gauge. And that uh, also goes up with the potency. And 400% is a ton. She can do a ton of damage with a special two if that ticker's up far enough. This bonus gradually falls off while no incinerates are active, so it's only while incinerates are going. Each time Lockheed prevents an incinerate, the above pro -S potency increases by 30%. So she's great against incinerate opponents. Great. When throwing a special attack, all personal pro are removed and reapplied through the current pro -S potency buff. So she's got phasing. Dashing for when she got three or more, she phases for 1.2 seconds, which is enough time to avoid a hit. And uh, the opponent has a 100% miss chance. While phased, she gains a plus 4,200 roughly to her crit. And she is stun immune and takes 80% reduced damage, except her awaken ability means she takes 100% reduced damage. While phased, robots suffer a minus 20% ability accuracy. So she's got one thing against robots, but the rest of it is not great. Personal debuffs and buffs that are triggered while phase become passive and gain 20% duration. So that counts for uh, pro -S's. Each missed, Each miss causes, uh, caused by the phase deals damage. And Kitty gains three pro -S's, uh, And then these stack with a normal limit. And then when phasing expires, six pro -S's are consumed for each miss that was caused. So you have to watch that very carefully now. Uh, when she uses her special one, the final three hits uh, each inflict an incinerate that go for 3.5 seconds and deal 16-10 damage, reducing block proficiency by 50% and removing perfect block chance. Incinerates inflicted by this attack expire one at a time, so it really lasts for 10 and a half seconds and are paused and refreshed while other incinerates are active. With 10 or more pro -S's, incinerates trigger through the block, so you can use this through block. Each hit, and then her, her little um, gauge marker starts as well because it's an incinerate. I think that's right. Where did I see that? Not phasing. There it is. Each time, no, while the opponent is suffering from an incinerate. So the little gauge thing goes, get, goes immediately when she uses her special attack one. Special attack two. Each hit deals a burst of damage equal to 40% of the damage dealt. With 10 or more pro -S's, you gain an unblockable buff lasting 9 seconds plus an additional quarter of a second for each pro -S above 10. And then finally, 
Special three is inflict non-stacking incinerate debuffs that deal 3,900 damage over 30 seconds. When this attack ends, entering phasing for two seconds. Oh, enter phasing for two seconds. If phasing was already active, this time extends to four seconds. Now, one of the best things that you can do um, is if you're worried about a special three on an opponent, you can phase and you can do your special three and then ha and then they trigger them to trying to do their special three or try and bait them into doing it and you take no damage no damage at all now let's look at her uh, awakened abilities while phase take no damage from any source so without the awakened ability she, she has 80 percent damage reduction with the awakened ability she takes no damage while phased while phase gain a 250 percent defensive combat power rate and pause phasing while being struck the first time each personal incinerate effect expires naturally or is purified, it has a 40% chance, this is with a level 200, to re-trigger itself at 30% potency. Um, and they're always passive. So there is that. And that gets that, um, me uh, that meter going again. Now, I personally, I think the best rotation for her is to do a special attack 3 and then build up to a 2 and do the 2. And that way you've got the incinerates, the special incinerate ticker is going and you're able to build up some pro s's up to the special two and then you're able to just blast through your opponent all right so we are going to take her in to uh our winter soldier but first i want to look at her synergies that is the first thing so here's aunt may and aunt may tells us about everything except it doesn't tell us about synergy so uh, with Dragon Man, increase the duration of Incinerate debuffs by 10% and passive Incinerates by 15%. So we're going to be doing that. So we'll be bringing Dragon Man in. Let me start by doing that. Okay, we're going to bring... I got a 7-star Dragon Man. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to go over this. We're going to bring a Dragon Man in. Uh, just friends, I don't care about that. Uh, Kitty Bride, each miss that occurs during phase grants two Pro S's. Uh, these can stack above normal limits, so we want to bring in Ghost. So when we do the Winter Soldier test, the Winter Soldier Index test, we always do it at full synergy team too. Romance, don't care about that. Shadow History, when phase expires after causing a miss, there is a 30% chance to consume no pro S's. And maybe... <clears throat> uh, I don't with the Emma Frost. I don't really care about the reverse controls. How about Tigra? While ten or more proesses are active, become passively unblockable. While phase maybe Red Magneto when phasing gain a Fury for each debuff on Kitty, meh, and increasing attack rate seven percent for five seconds max five. And she's not really going to have debuffs on her. She got friends armor rating. I'm not looking for. Uh, I may, let's see what, uh, Kitty Bride, heavy attacks are guaranteeing crit hits. Okay, so we're going to do Nimrod, and I think, I think we're going to do, not that one, that is a 5% combat power rate, or a 5% combat power, so I'll do, uh, we'll do Colossus. Okay. And there's our team right there. All right, let's get into it. Let's go and let's see how well she does against Winter Soldier. What is the index going to be? <clears throat> and we have advantage against him in this fight too, so this is a little bit unfair. So we're going to build to a special three, and then we're going to build to a special two. Got two proesses already. And we're already phasing. And the other thing is, she heals. She is actually suicide friendly because she doesn't do any damage. While she's uh, while she's phasing, she doesn't take any damage. She heals. Because I still have those debuffs, but they're not doing any damage. Okay, so we got this. 
And now we're gonna try and get, you can see that that meter's going up. We're gonna try and get to a special two. And we're at nine proesses already. And now he's going to be so super passive aggressive it isn't funny. We're almost there. Come on, dude. All right, here we go. We got to get this while we're facing. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Nice. Almost got him. And we're unblockable. Nice. That was some sweet damage. Oh, no, I forgot we're unblockable still. And he's done. Okay. How fast was that? That was a lot of hits. But the other thing is how fast was it? Let's check it out. So we did a special three and then a special two. That seems to be the best rotation. We did that in 70 hits and a minute 15 seconds. That's pretty good. She's up there. She's close to uh, Herc and Guardian and Hulk. So still pretty good. All right. That is the, that is the video I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.